Okay, so we're going to draw another diagram. And we draw a big diagram because we're going to need it. So of course, over here we have capital per worker. Over here we have output per worker. And if you remember, the diagram we had seen was this. This was a function of kt. What we want to do now is draw a diagram for uh, let's say addition of capital. So what we want to do is draw a diagram for this. Diagram for this. Notice that this is just uh, this diagram that we have just drawn multiplied by small s, which is a fraction, which is a value between zero and one. So what we are going to see is this, and this is going to be the equation on top multiplied by s. And now what we are going to do is draw a diagram for depreciation. Depreciation you see is just kt multiplied by a fraction. Suppose kt multiplied by 0 0.2 or kt multiplied by 0 0.3. So that's going to be a straight line. That doesn't look very nice. Let me try again. This. And this is. Now, the question is what is the equilibrium level? But let, let's not go to equilibrium already. Let's start small. Suppose we are at this point, okay? This is how much capital we have in the economic capital per worker that would mean that this is our output why not uh, because of course the formula is y equals to function so if we know how much capital per worker we have we can determine how much output per worker we have. But what else do we know? We know this, okay, that's great. What we also know is that this is how much investment has been made in the economy. Because remember, this here is output. This here is investment. This here is depreciation. Oh, sorry. So this is how much investment has been made. And this right here is how much depreciation has been in the economy. So what we know right now is that in the economy, investment, which is this in period T, is higher than depreciation. If we have this scenario, we've already established that change in capital will be positive. This means that, let me put the time subscript here and here as well. What we know is that capital in the next period will be higher than capital we had in this period because how much we have invested has been higher than how much, than the level of depreciation. As a result, capital stock has increased. When capital stock increases, this equation tells us 
that output it traces. So let's take a look at that. Next period, we have more capital because of what we just established. So next year, what we are going to see is that we have more output. Because we have capital per worker, because workers have more output, to, more machineries and equipments to work with, each worker is able to produce more. As a result, output per worker has gone up. Okay. But what else do we know? We also know that this has been our investment and this has been our depreciation. Once again, we have a scenario where our depreciation is less than our investment. So what we have once again is now we have, of course, T plus one is higher than delta a function of k t plus one. As a result, what we can say is that capital per worker in period t plus two is going to be higher than capital plus worker t plus one. And so on and so forth. We're going to keep moving from here to here to here. And of course, our output is also going to keep going up all over the place until we arrive at this place. No. I'm going to call this K star. Of course, our total output is this. I'm going to call this Y star. So this is pretty self-explanatory why this is our output, but take a look here at this point. What we have is uh, investment in capital is exactly equal to depreciation of capital. As a result, in the next period how much capital we have is going to be exactly equal to how much capital we have in this period. Capital stock is not going to increase anymore. As a result, we stop at this point. Uh, this is our, well, equilibrium isn't the right word, but this is the point where we stop because there is no more tendency for the economy to accumulate more capital. We started off from a point of very low capital stock and as a result, very low output. But over subsequent years, we kept increasing our capital stock. And as a result, our output continued to increase until we arrived at this point. Uh, this is the, uh, this is called, the steady state. We're not going to move around from here anymore. We're steady, we're stable at this point. This is the steady state. One thing we have not talked about. So we know that if we are in this period, we're going to move at this point. What if we start off at this point? What if we started off at this point? Think about it. I'm going to discuss that in the next video, but I think some of you will be able to figure it out on your own. 